Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. About a month ago, I began looking at PTC's CoCreate Direct Modeling software. I was looking at version 17.0. In my previous blog post and video report, I explored its basic part modeling methods and environment. Now let's have a look at its assembly model mode. In CoCreate, you work in a modeling session which makes very little distinction between a part mode and an assembly mode. You can load more than one item in any modeling session, so technically in a session you could be working with all the parts in an assembly. Or you can be working with two unrelated parts, but you can hide or reveal one item at a time as you're working on it. To correctly position an item in an assembly, you can use the Position and Alignment tab. This is the one. Now I'm first going to align the axes of the wheel to the cylindrical spoke where I want it to go into. So first, I'm going to pick the entire part, then rotate it about 90 degrees so that it's in the same orientation as the spoke. Then I'll pick a circular feature on the wheel and then pick the cylindrical bar here to align them. Next, I'll get this face to align with the tip of the spoke. This time I'll use the align command, not the align axis command that I just used. Once I've done, I'll reveal the other three hidden wheels again and use the same method to assemble them into place. And that's essentially how I get them all aligned and positioned. I think there are some advantages in being able to make adjustments directly on the assembly model. Here, for instance, you can change the radius of the screw pin right here and see whether it's getting too wide as you are adjusting its radius. You might also do the same with its length, for example, by selecting these two faces and moving it upward to shorten the length of it. And while you're doing it, you can make sure that it doesn't go too far. This is a direct modeling program that allows you to directly interact with your geometry without going through a feature tree or a history tree. So if you are modifying a single feature like this hole, it's fairly simple. You just pick it, then adjust the radius by pushing this arrow in or entering a new value. But if you need to pick several components, like all four holes at the same time, then you'll have to do it through the select tool then specify that you're picking cylinders and start picking them and end the selection when you're done. Now that you've got them all as a group, then you can edit them all in the same shot. As an alternative, you can also press down the shift key, then select each of those holes until you have select all four holes, and then right click on it to get the option to change its radius. Personally, I find this method a lot easier to use because the palette has too many options that it could overwhelm a newcomer. Here's one noticeable difference between CoCreate's approach and solid edge approach. 
solid edge. It's from Siemens, of course, another direct modeling program. Now, if you start with imported geometry, solid edge with synchronous technology assumes you'd like to retain the symmetry, coplanar faces, mirrored faces, and those relationships all intact. CoCreate makes no such assumption. So there are parallel features that you'd like to keep parallel, for example, or mirrored features that you'd like to keep mirrored. It's up to you to edit them together and select them as a group. There is a realistic mode that adds ground reflection to your model view window. Bear in mind that it does take up a fair amount of computing power. So if you want to be able to quickly tumble your model as you work, you may want to keep that off. You can also change how your viewport looks. That is, changing the wireframe setup or the edge displays and everything about your model by changing its settings right here. This is the second in our series of blog posts about CoCreate 17.0. For more, you can watch the first one published on August 25th called First Encounter. No, it's not about Alien Encounter. It's about my first experience with CoCreate 17.0. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine.